What's up, YouTube? Hopefully I'm back here with another b -b banger. Okay, so this is just a quick... I'm going to do two separate videos. Um, one's how to scrape for a Raspberry Pi or Droid effectively using the tool. So you've followed the previous video, you've done the instructions, uh, and this is how to use the tool to do for the scrape for that. And then uh, this video is going to show you how to scrape for a Hyper PC. So the best thing for me to start off with is just to show you an example of how it looks now and then how I will want it to look afterwards, okay? If we go to consoles, now one that I've done how to my liking is actually, uh, I'm actually working my way through the Sega content that I've got. So can you, if you can see here, it shows the it shows in the top left, it's got the wheel, it's got the, the cart art, which is if in this case the CD, and then the box art, which is the game, and then it shows the video in the main screen. Okay, now that is all because, by default, the Sega CD uh, from the pack that I gave you should actually, uh, it picks up all the images from here. Can you see box art is box art, cart art is cart. This is important, these are your paths, okay? So if you've got the, you might have the D drive path, but CD art is cart art as well. Uh, flyers images, but we've not got that. Marquee and snap and the wheel, okay? So the ones that we're interested in are the snap, the wheel, and the cart art, and the box art, okay? So now I'm going to head over to the Dreamcast one, which is the one that I want to scrape and show you what it looks like. So as you can see, the ROMs are here, but there's nothing been scraped at all. And it's just got all the default logos and that kind of jazz. It's good to have a visual idea of what you're looking at, because it kind of explains it a lot better. So at the moment... As you can see here, my Dreamcast folder just has the ROMs in it. So for you, it'll be D Hyper PC ROMs Dreamcast for some of you. Uh, for me, it'll be H. Uh, but my Sega CD um, folder actually has box art wheel. So I've this has already been pre-scraped. That's SNES CD actually. Oops, uh, Sega CD. It's got the box art, the car, the snap, and the wheel all scraped. So I'm going to show you how to do all four of those so that you can get yours looking like that. So assuming you've watched my ultimate scraping guide and you've got this set up already, it should point to either your, H your D Hyper PC Convicts and your D Hyper PC ROMs. Mine's pointing to H because I went with a H setup. Now, for the Hyper PC, I'm just going to get straight into it. In my opinion, the best mix is the box art, the cart art, the video, or the snap, and the wheel. And I and you can also edit the type of content that you get for each of those. So you start off and it gives you default of this, because it's, cause it's scraping for Raspberry Pi by default. But what you can actually do is you can individually change these. So I can change this internal mix and give it, say... Well, I'll do the video. And when you've done that, if you want it to work perfectly, you can actually change this to say snap. So when it generates the GML, the game XML, sorry, it'll automatically put it into the snap folder so you don't actually have to do anything apart from, well, it'll just work straight from the bat. And then you can click your next image and say, right, okay, well, this one's going to be my uh, box art. I tend to go for the 3D box art. So delete this, box art, boom. Number two, the marquee. I, li I like the marquee, but I, I think the, uh, is it called the carbon one? The carbon one's a lot more tidier. Oh, actually, we'll do the cart art next. Well, that's come up, so that's the cart art. So that'll put that straight into the cart art folder. Uh, I've only got three there, haven't I? So add another one. Right, let me just count these. One, two, three, four. Yeah, add another one. I want three images and one video. And then this is going to be my car box art. I can't actually remember what I'm missing. Box art, car, snap. Oh, wheel. Yeah, so wheel, carbon wheel. That's what I tend to go for. So change that to wheel. Okay, so yeah, you click the images individually. They're not set as packs. So for a video goes to your snap folder. Box art goes to your box art folder. 
Uh, the car goes to your car type folder, and the wheel is the is the bit on the top corner in uh, Hyper PC. So that will show uh, all that. Am I actually scraping to the right platform here? Because I was going to do my Dreamcast as an example. ROMs. Oh, no, I've clicked all. Such an idiot. So you can do them all, but I just always recommend doing them individually because you might already have some stuff that's scraped. So anyway, I'm going to re... God damn it. I'm going to redo all that, and then uh, I'll show you the finished result. Okay, when it starts generating, as you can see, it's going to start pulling in the content. Um, if you subscribe, you get more threads. When you when it starts, make sure that it creates the folders in the correct locations because, as you can see, your snap, box art, cart art, and wheel, it needs to make sure, otherwise you're just going to waste your time. Okay, when that finishes, I'll show you the final result. Okay, so there was the Final Fantasy VII You Just Survived tune. Okay, so it took about 10 minutes to do 301 games for Dreamcast. So now let's just go and check the finished product. And if we mosey on over to the consoles now, and then the platform that you've just scraped, which is Dreamcast. As you can see here, it's got the spinning CDs, it's got the cases, it's got the wheel in the top corner and then the video playing in the middle of the screen. That looks pretty perfect if you ask me, guys. What do you think about that? Just work your way through all the content. Uh, I'm going to do another video of how to do the RetroPie setup. So you can... It's a very, very similar video, but it'll be more about dumping ROMs off and on to the RetroPie as well. And how you can just leave it as they are. Because the, cause the game list is automatically generated for this and the RetroPie. Whatever you do, it's already generated to whatever you set here. So you never actually have to rename anything. You've just got to make sure you set these correctly. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. I hope you found that useful. As ever, subscribe, comment, smash that bell thing, whatever that is. And then, you know, hopefully you'll, I'll catch you in the next video. No, peace out guys. Peace out. Appreciate it. See you soon. Bye. Have a good time. Make sure you don't do anything you shouldn't be doing. Peace.